హలో లర్నర్స్ వెల్కమ్ టు ఇన్నోవేట్ టీచింగ్ ఛానల్ ఇన్ దిస్ క్లాస్ వీ ఆర్ గోయింగ్ టు డిస్కస్ ఎ కాన్సెప్ట్ ఫ్రమ్ ఇంక్లూజివ్ ఎడ్యుకేషన్ టుడేస్ టాపిక్ ఈస్ చైల్డ్ విత్ ఫిజికల్ ఛాలెంజెస్ ద టూ దిస్ వీడియో మెయిన్లీ ఫోకసెస్ ఆన్ విజువల్ ఇంపైర్మెంట్ ఆఫ్ ద చిల్డ్రన్ సో లెట్స్ డిస్కస్ వాట్ ఈజ్ విజువల్ ఇంపైర్మెంట్ ఇట్స్ టైప్స్ అండ్ కేటగిరీస్ వాట్ ఆర్ దేర్ క్యారెక్టరిస్టిక్స్ అండ్ వాట్ ఆర్ ద కాజెస్ and how are the educational programs managed and what is a braille script let's discuss them one by one slowly first let's see what is the introduction of children with physical challenges a physically challenged child may be defined as a child who has a disability of locomotor and neurological origin locomotor disability is a kind of disability that restricts limb movement Uh, like a bones and joint movement and neurological disorder is a kind of disability which is related to the nervous system so a physically challenged child may be having locomotor disability or neurological disability which constitutes disadvantages or restrictions in one or more aspects of daily living activities see a physically challenged child may be physically mentally sensory and emotionally type disabilities the disability may be congenital or acquired congenital in the sense the disability which he is by birth or acquired in the middle of his or her life and uh, a child with a physical disability may have one or more than one disability we can't say fixed count number and what is a visual impairment and what are their types visual impairment including blindness are defined as a vision that even with correction adversely that means badly affects a child's educational performance and this term includes both low vision and the blindness first kind of uh, visual impairment is legal blindness and this term is defined as central visual equity of 6 by 60 in the better eye after the best possible correction see this visual equity is expressed as a fraction and uh, the formula for visual equity is test distance by letter size i have uh, given you a best example in this uh, chart see this is a snellen chart which has uh, uh, many alphabets with different sizes so if the person reads only the top letter of the snellen chart the visual equity is documented as 6 by 60 that is legal blindness that means that the top letter only which should be read at 60 meters is being read at 6 meters so the same visual equity is written as 0.1 on the decimal scale and also 20 by 200 for the american standard for the snellen fraction so the visual equity of 6 by 60 or 20 by 200 is equivalent to plus 1 on the log mar scale and the next kind is totally blindness that means no eyesight is available in both eyes of a person so he will be completely totally blind and therefore the total blind is defined as complete absence of visual perception and the next type is partially sighted a person who has a visual equity of 6 by 21 or 20 by 70 or less in the better eye after the best possible correction is known as partially sighted person thus the remaining vision is useful for most of his learning say 20 by 70 vision is considered to be moderate visual impairment that means a person with this level of vision he needs to be at 20 feet to see what a person with normal vision can see at 70 feet i'm giving you better examples for good explanation and good understanding and uh, the last type of uh, visual impairment is low vision it is defined as markedly reduced functional vision you can see a category list of a visual impairment in this chart uh, there are uh, mainly six categories started from 0 to 5 and uh, the corrected visual equity va stands for visual equity better i is denoted by different fractions you can see the chart and according to that visual equity fractions who world health organization defined different categories and the other working eye is named in this category and the final column is 
the Indian definition. You can compare WHO definition, working definition and Indian definition with the fractions of visual equity. And next moving to the characteristics of visual impairment. So he or she rubs his eyes excessively. The eyes are watery. Eyelids are often red. Holds objects and books too close to the eyes. Head is very close to the book or any reading materials. Squints. Squints means uh, the case in which the eyes don't look in exactly in the same direction at the same time. Blinks his eyelids more frequently. Takes help from the peers. Regular headaches. Bumps into the objects or into the people. Poor eye and hand coordination. Uncomfortably moves his or her head forwards and backwards while looking at distant objects. Loses place while reading into the lines of a book. Pressing through fingers on the eyeball to see clearly. Pain and irritation in the eyes. Not able to see during night times. Depending too much on oral information because of his night blindness. And not able to read in poor lighting conditions. Poor performance in the class, poor handwriting that one cannot be prescribed as visually impaired by finding one or two symptoms unless there is thorough medical checkup and functional assessment. So these are uh, many characteristics of visual impairment. Next, what are the main causes, major causes for this visual impairment disorder? Common diseases like uh, cataract, glaucoma, age related macular degeneration that means breakdown of eye macula corneal ulcers diabetic retinopathy childhood blindness be it if moderate xerophthalmia diseases and conjunctivitis onchocerciasis that is infection cause retinal detachments albinism defect in melanin astigmatism, nystagmus that is uncontrollable movements of eyes and optic atrophy, trachoma, infection in eyes. So these are few of the causes of visual impairment. And finally what are the educational programs for visually impaired children? So they need some special schools, integrated education and resource model education itinerant modal education that means teachers becomes itinerants teachers travel to provide services to students with disabilities combined modal education cooperative modal education dual teaching model inclusive education and plus curriculum this is main important educational program plus curriculum includes the specific skills uh, like uh, peculiar to blind people and this curriculum is said to be plus curriculum skills which include braille reading, braille writing, orientation and mobility, daily living skills, sensory training, use of mathematical devices like abacus etc. And uh, you can see braille cell configuration given in this figure. The braille cell configuration is 1004-2005-3006. So, you can see the Braille English alphabets provided in this chart along with Braille cell configuration explained. So this chart could be defined Braille cell configuration and the codes for tactile who deals with the blind people. Okay friends if you like this video don't forget to like share subscribe and comment. I am signing off. Thank you. Bye. Click the bell icon to get latest notifications. Don't forget to like, share and comment. Thanks for watching. Subscribe for more videos and stay tuned to our Innovate Teaching channel.